Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try In the Summertime. Great song. One hit wonder, I think. Not sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to need some chords. We're going to need an E chord. <laughs> So E chord, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, second fret, uh, third string, first fret. That's an E chord. And what I'm going to do for my strum, uh, I could go down, up, down, and I'm going to keep stopping in between, like kind of tapping the strings, you know. So, I... so our pattern for the E is down, up, down. And then you do that four times. So it follows the blues pattern. If you're familiar with that, 12 bar blues, it's just E for four bars. So you do that pattern four times. Then you go to an A chord, fourth string, third string, second string, second fret. You do it twice. Um, and I, I get rid of the sixth string on that one. Uh, then you go back to your E chord two times. Now you got trouble, you got your B chord. Only one pattern on this one. This one is the fifth string, second fret, and then you lay your finger down, uh, your third finger on four, three, and two of the fourth fret. That is, uh, that was, that was the hardest chord for me to get real comfortable. I just couldn't do it for a long time. So if you're struggling with it, we, we all pretty much do. And if people say they didn't struggle with it, they's lying. <laughs> okay, don't trust them. Don't trust them with your dog, that's for sure. Anybody going to lie about that, they're going to lie to your dog. Okay, the other thing I'm doing with this chord is uh, I've got the tip of my first finger right up into the sixth string, so I'm muting it. Okay, so it's a difficult chord. You're doing a whole bunch of stuff. You're playing on such an angle that your first string gets muted anyway. So it's a difficult one. Now, if you have too much trouble with that one, uh, you could do like a B7 chord, you know, uh, fifth string, second fret, fourth string, first fret, third string, second fret, and then your first string, second fret. You could do that one time, then right to the A, and then back to the E. Okay? So, your pattern is four patterns on E, two patterns on A, Two patterns on E, one pattern on B or B7, one pattern on A, two patterns on E, and you might say, well, that's chaos, but it's not. It's the blues. It's the form of the 12-bar blues. Um, it's the most popular form of the 12-bar blues because there's lots of variations, and it repeats over and over again. So if you don't know that pattern, if that doesn't seem like uh, makes sense to you, you got to get to know it because it's bajillion tunes that follow that pattern in different keys, okay? So you got to get to know that pattern. All right, hopefully that is cool for the rhythm part. If you need any more help with that, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Um, oh, uh, another way you could play your B chord, uh, you know, if, you're, if you don't, can, if you can't do this bar, but you can do the big F bar, or the way that I play F, if you've watched any of my videos, you could do a B right up here at the seventh fret, it's the same shape as that F chord. And then do the A here. And then back to the E. So you could do it that way too. So that's another, another way. All right, that's in the summertime. Now let's get to the lead part. Uh, there's some pickup notes. Pickup notes lead into the tune, okay? So there's two pickup notes. They're eighth notes, so it's like one beat of pickup into the song. So... screwed up that A chord. I knew I was gonna. I haven't practiced this. I learned this yesterday. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I did. I woke up and I was like, I was supposed to do be doing a bunch of other stuff. I had a lot of lessons to do on FaceTime, <laughs> and because we're not traveling right now, because if uh, I don't know when this is going to air, but we're in the middle of this pandemic right now. So um, anyway, I'm doing a FaceTime lessons, and I woke up and I came across this too. I was like, oh, I, I never learned that song. So I just learned it yesterday. Um, okay, so let's go over what I just did. So on the E chord, it's, it's wicked simple. It's open second string, and then the second string, second fret. And then you're just going to play the first string open, just like that. So then you go back to the second string, and you're going to go two open, two open, just like that. Then open third, third string first fret, fourth string second fret. Okay, so it sounds like... Then you do, guess what, it's the same thing. So you do the same thing twice, that's great. And that's going on, you're playing that lead part while your rhythm guy's going. Um, and that was, that was half of it, so he keeps going. All right, then when you get to the uh, rhythm guy gets to the A chord, you're going to go, you don't have to do pull-offs here, you could go, that'd be fine too. So what I'm doing is I'm holding down the 4th string, 7th fret, 3rd string, 6th fret, 2nd string, 7th fret, and, uh, and then my first finger is going to sneak in on the 2nd string, 5th fret. Um, so when I need it, he's there. When I lift up my pinky, that guy will be in his spot. So I'm going to strum 5, 4, 3, and 2, just like that. Not going to play the first string, not yet anyway. Um, then, then I lift up the pinky and I hit the second string, fifth fret. My finger's already down, just like that. Then I'm going to hit the third string, sixth fret, which I'm already holding down. Then I'm going to put the pinky back down and go 7, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, or 2nd string 7, 2nd string 5, 3rd string 6. And I'm going to do that twice. And then at the end, I go back to the pinky on the 2nd string 7. So. Okay. Hopefully that was clear enough. All right. And now, um, now you have a choice. Uh, he doesn't always play the same lead throughout the whole song. I'm not doing, this isn't like a transcription of exactly what he's playing. It's things that'll fit, in, the most popular things that fit in when he's playing. Uh, some of the stuff he played, I just didn't, you know, I listened to it, I tried it, and I didn't like it, so I, I know I'm not gonna play it, so. Um, but uh, but I, I grabbed the most popular ones, so these ones will work. So my point is, is now, you're, now the rhythm guy's back to the E chord. So you're going to go like this. It's like a D shape at the 4th fret. 3rd string, 4th fret, 1st string, 4th fret, and then the 2nd string, 5th fret. Uh, I'm going to play my 1st finger at an angle so that the 4th string gets muted. And I'm just going to do a small strum so that I don't hit those open strings, okay? Okay, so the same rhythm as the rhythm guy's doing. Now, if you want, if that gets boring, sometimes in the song, instead of playing that, he goes back to, which you already know, the only thing is he doesn't have those pickup notes in there. So he starts on the open first string, open, and then the two, open, two, open, which we've already gone over. You should be able to pick up on that just by ear. You're just leaving off the, leaving those two notes at the beginning off. Okay, I'll play it. I'll play it two different ways so you can hear the lead two different ways. So uh, hopefully that isn't too confusing. That's just two different ways to play during that period in the uh, song. <laughs> then when he goes to the B chord, he uh, forms an F shape, uh, fourth string, ninth fret, uh, third string, eighth fret, and then he bars this first two strings at the seventh fret. You can strum the whole thing. Um, I'm going to add my pinky on the ninth fret. Then I'm going to let my pinky go 
and play the first string seven. So that's really what I hear in the song the first time he plays the B. But I I went ahead and did the whole chord. Because if it's only two of you playing, you're going to have to fill it out a little bit. So Okay, that's your B shape or B chord. Then you just move that back to the fifth fret. So you got fourth string seven, third string six, and then the first two strings fifth fret. And now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to strum it this time. I'm going to put my pinky on the first string seventh fret, just like I did earlier, and then I'm going to go. And that's the one I screwed up when I performed it for you. So, so I'm going to play that second, third, back to the first. Then I'm going to lift the pinky up and play the first string five. So. Too hard to play. I just screwed it up. So the B is, and there's the A. All right, and then he's back to the E chord, and he's going. So he's doing that same lick I told you to put in on the E chord earlier without the pickup notes. So open, open, uh, open three times on the first string. And then on the second, two open, two open, third string open, third, and then fourth string second. Okay? So um, let me play that through all the way, and then I'll show you a couple ways you can change it. So I'm going to go slow. on from that. Alright, now a couple different ways you could change it. One I didn't tell you about. So when he goes to the B and he does this, and then the A, um, you could change it. You could do the same B chord, 7th fret, uh, like an F shape. Uh, put your pinky down this time at the beginning, and you go, and then you lift up your pinky. So 9, 7 on the first, and then the second string I hit at the 7th fret. Sorry. Yeah, like that. Then you move it back to the fifth fret just like you did before for the A chord, and you go. Sorry. That's what he does. Something like that. So he's got his pinky down at the beginning on the first string, seventh fret. He plays that, then he strums a chord, just like a little chord, you know, and then he lifts the pinky up, it's this first string fifth. Strums the chord again, so something like that. All right, I'm going to try that one slow. I'm going to put the two different variations in this time. Most of it's the same. Okay, so the E chord for the four bars is the same. The A chord for the two bars is the same. Then when you get to that E chord the second time for the two bars, that's when I'm going to change those two bars. And then the next part is also changed for the B to the A and then the E chord will be the same again at the end. So, good luck to me. All right, slowly. Those are two different ways that you can play that. You can come up with your own pretty easily, um, I would think, um, for most of it. Or you know, he, I don't know how many times they play in a row. It's at least eight, maybe 12 times in a row that they circle around the blues progression like that. So I'm sure you can come up with something. Um, but uh, they certainly did a great song. Uh, I suspect uh, I don't know how they you know I don't, I don't know how they came about it, but that one line in it, uh, if she's um, how's it go? Uh, if her daddy's rich, take her out for a meal. If her daddy's poor, just do what you feel. <laughs> that is uh, one of the greatest lines in all of pop music. All right.
Um, hopefully that doesn't offend anyone, <laughs> but it's a great line. All right, uh, any questions, comments below, uh, and um, play more guitar, and please subscribe.